Hello everyone, my name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel and welcome to another review video um, It's actually a reveal slash review first impression review If you've watched my previous video You would have noticed that I'm wearing exactly the same outfit because I'm trying to film all my Valentino videos at once and uh, the previous video was about this bag right here the rockstead spike bag and this is in the small size and i did an updated review of this so if you haven't seen it or if you're interested to see it do go back just uh, to my previous video then you can see it but for today uh, and for this video i wanted to reveal a brand new handbag also from from valentino and it comes in this beautiful dust bag i love their dust bags it's a nice cottony linen-y uh, I would say more cotton material. It's quite a nice thick drawstring to reveal. I've already been using it. Uh, of course, it came with a dust bag as well as some stuffing over here and the tags that came with it. So there you have it. It's Valentino Garavani. And then um, it came with uh, extra studs. So let's see how many there are. There's two extra studs right there. So in case you do lose studs, which I have not had happen to my other bag yet, my older Valentino bag. So you know that if you do lose it, you can replace it. And then there's also this tiny envelope with um, a care card, I think. Yep. Well, I know they're not the same bag, but I'll just do a very quick side-by-side -side comparison. Um, this is the comparison. So as you can see, this is a little bit more plain, but still really, really nice. Still has enough studs to make it wow uh, and really, really pretty. This one is a little thicker, so that's quite interesting. It almost fits, I would say they fit almost exactly the same thing, same amount of things. You just have to place them differently. And uh, of course, the material is slightly different too. The stud size also is a bit different. So as you can see, the studs on this one is a little bit bigger. Um, I think that's why they call this one rock stud spike, whereas this one is just rock stud. It measures six and a half inch and just below, just under four inch height. And then the width on the bottom is three inch and on the top is about two inches. Those are my own measurements. I find that sometimes when you look at the measurements online, they're not as quite as accurate for some reason so I like to give my own measurements of course it comes with a strap as well this is completely detachable from both sides so that's a really really nice feature adjustable I just have it in the middle hole it has five settings so I just have it on the third the strap drop in the middle setting is 22 inches even though it says platinum online I'm not sure why they say that but it's really a light gold hardware and of course it has studs all over the, the strap, which is a really, really nice feature. There's lots of studs on the strap. Um, it has a little Valentino logo here on the hardware. There's no bumps or anything that I can feel. So it's a very comfortable strap, even though it does have many, many hardware on it. The side, the other side and the bottom and then this is the back the back has a bit of a stamping the logo stamping with valentino in gold foil and it's a really really simple construction and that's also why this bag is really well priced really nice size slip pocket here very very useful i'll talk about what i can fit in there and then also the interior is lined with uh, a cotton material. I've used this bag for an entire week straight. Uh, I took it with me to Edmonton uh, on a family trip and um, like I said, it's just such a nice little bag to use. I love that it's small so that you can't fit your entire life in it so that it doesn't give you shoulder pain either. So I love that. This clasp here, this uh, closure here is quite interesting. There's several ways of closing it, which I didn't even realize until I saw a couple of videos where people close it the other way which I was kind of surprised but it actually works and that's how actually my husband closed it once I asked him to get something from my bag and he closed it this way instead so he went up instead of down but it totally works uh, it doesn't break it or anything it's just I guess that's just how it is so when you close it up it actually goes flush with the leather but I usually like to close it down it's just 
I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. It looks prettier, but it does bulge out. It does kind of stick out a little bit. So just as a visual comparison, I feel like it's it's quite comparable to the Square Mini from Chanel. And as we all know, these are seasonal bags. So even though they do periodically come up with the Square Minis or the Rectangle Minis, they do differ in size, in length, in material every single season. So. This is from the cruise 2017 season and I have mine in caviar and as you can see a side by side it's pretty much the same width. It's the same width and that's also the reason why this one fits a large phone which um, it pretty much sealed the deal for me when I got it and uh, I started putting my stuff in it. I was so surprised at how much it fits. So lengthwise, it's pretty much the same. Width-wise, it's also pretty much the same. Even the stuff that they both carry is very, very comparable. The only difference is the height. So obviously this one is a little shorter. The leather is yummy and squishy. By the way, this is calfskin, so it's not the same as the spike bag. The spike bag is all lambskin. This one is calfskin, so it's a little thicker. It feels durable. It doesn't seem like it would scratch or anything like that, at least not easily. I also want to talk about the fact that I, I think for the longest time, I was trying to get a blush pink or like a blush beige color bag and I especially want it in a mini size like this like in a super mini size the closest option that I've come across in the past was the Gucci uh, super mini Marmont bag that one is the tiny little one with a snap button um, and that's also the one where you can convert it into a belt bag for some reason I could never pull the trigger because for me that bag was just a little bit too simplistic uh, the hardware seemed a bit dull to me. <laughs> I'm sorry if you own it, but I just feel like it wasn't my style. Whereas when I look at this, I just feel like it's still luxurious. It still looks really, really pretty and shiny. The color is exactly what I want it to be. Uh, and the size, the size, this one is just a tiny bit more generous, but it makes sense. It just makes sense because I'm not trying to bash the sorry i'm not trying to bash this super mini but there's a reason why i could not i could not pull the trigger with that one the aesthetics it was not quite there the size was not quite there and even though i'm a super big fan of this and i know that this doesn't fit a foam but the aesthetics of this is totally me so i i totally love this bag anyway um but in terms of something else that i want to use practically every day as a super mini bag this fits the bill so let me just show you what I can fit in it. I have a pretty thin case. If you have a bulkier case, you will still be able to fit in here, except that when you take it out of the bag, you do kind of have to wiggle around a little bit just cause it just fits. I always bring a card holder. This is essentially my wallet. See how much space there is? Six key holder from LV. As usual, I have my floss, my um, lip balm, and I love bringing a bag hanger, but you could have other things or you could have two different lip products and whatnot. I love to put it in pouches like this because it just keeps it in one place. It's not floating around the bag. So there you have it. It's super handy. There's still space on the top. In a pinch, I will put my sunglasses in. And also that back pocket, I love to put cash and receipts. Normally, I will ha also have this in a um, in a dust bag, but I just, you know, it fits. It really fits because it's a single flap and it's a flexible leather, as you can see. It's a flexible leather, but it's a perfect size and it fits just as much as my square mini. It's no joke. It's It's just so good. It's... It's the perfect mini bag. I finally found it and I'm so glad that it was a Valentino bag because I'm a big fan of Valentino bags. Even at a regular price, I still think that it's super well priced. I feel like this bag will be super popular very soon, if not already. And I feel like they will probably keep increasing their price because it's such a great price point. Although it is a very simple construction, I think it's a great design. I feel like they've done it right. They made the perfect super mini size bag in my opinion. It's super comfortable. I love the strap. It's such beautiful jewelry actually. 
uh, around the bag. It just makes the outfit. It doesn't matter what you wear or what you tend to like to wear. It almost goes with everything. Same with the spike bag. I almost feel like I prefer this one just because I can use this bag as an everyday bag. But of course they're different, right? Um, I, I love the fact that the other one has a handle and it looks like a clutch. It looks like an evening bag. This can still, you know, be an evening bag if you travel with it. it it's, it's a great little clutch if you just want to hold it like this. That is it for my review of the mini crossbody rock stud bag i think that's the name of it um regardless of their names you probably can tell just by looking at it this is the their smallest version of their latest offering and i'm a huge huge fan lots of lots of pros pretty much no cons actually and uh like i said i've used it a whole week straight the leather is holding up super well and it holds a ton for me. The hardware is beautiful, shiny, and just really, really modern. And I'm a huge, huge fan. So I hope this was helpful for those of you who were wondering which other Valentino bag I was gonna get. This was it. Some of you already saw it on my Instagram before I even revealed it here. But um, yeah, you, you really can't go wrong. So I hope it was helpful and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those of you who are brand new to my channel, I hope that you'll um, be back again soon. I would love to have you back. I hope everyone is doing super well and that you're having a great day ahead of you, uh, especially with summer officially here. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.